Welcome to an extraordinary journey through the evolution of electromagnetic theory, where we explore its transformation from Maxwell's equations to the quantum realm of quantum electrodynamics. Electromagnetism is not just a force, it is the language of nature, governing everything from lightning bolts to the intricate behavior of light and matter. This journey is one of discovery, from the classical world of electric and magnetic fields to the quantum realm of virtual particles and gauge symmetries. To guide us through this journey, we will follow the structure outlined in the presentation, step by step, expanding on each concept in a comprehensive and engaging way. The visuals and animations in this presentation will help illustrate the fundamental principles, allowing us to see the mathematics in action and understand the dynamic nature of electromagnetic interactions. In the early 19th century, scientists had only a fragmented understanding of electricity and magnetism. These forces were thought to be entirely separate, with no apparent connection. The first major breakthrough came with Coulomb's work, which revealed how electric charges exert forces on each other. Soon after, Gauss formulated the idea that electric fields extend into space and that the total electric flux depends on the charge enclosed. Similarly, it was observed that magnetic fields always form closed loops, suggesting that isolated magnetic poles, or monopoles, do not exist in nature. However, there were still static descriptions, they told us how charges and magnets behaved when nothing was changing, but they didn't explain what would happen if things started moving. The next great leap came with the discovery that electricity and magnetism were not just related but deeply intertwined. James Clerk Maxwell brought about a revolution in physics by unifying electricity and magnetism into a single theoretical framework. He discovered that a changing magnetic field could create an electric field, and, conversely, a changing electric field could generate a magnetic field. This was a radical departure from previous thinking, which saw these fields as separate entities. Maxwell's work established that these fields were dynamic and could influence one another. This slide shows the animation shows the interaction between static charges, visualizing Coulomb's law and a dynamic representation of magnetic field loops, emphasizing the absence of magnetic monopoles. In addition, a simulation of an electromagnetic wave propagating through space and a dynamic visualization of Maxwell's equations showing how electric and magnetic fields interact is shown in the right side. In fact, the Maxwell realization led to the prediction of electromagnetic waves waves of oscillating electric and magnetic fields that could travel through space. These waves, Maxwell calculated, moved at a speed remarkably close to the known speed of light. This was no coincidence, Maxwell had discovered that light itself was an electromagnetic wave. This profound insight connected physics to optics, revealing that visible light, radio waves, and X-rays were all part of the same fundamental phenomenon. With Maxwell's equations in place, scientists now had a powerful mathematical tool to describe electromagnetic waves, but an even deeper revolution was on the horizon. In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein redefined the way we perceive space and time with his theory of special relativity. This theory revealed that electric and magnetic fields were not independent forces but were instead part of the same electromagnetic entity, shaped by the motion of observers. Imagine an electron at rest, it produces an electric field. But if we move past it at high speed, we see something new, a magnetic field. This means that what one observer perceives as an electric field, another might see as a magnetic field. This stunning realization showed that electric and magnetic fields were not separate but were two sides of the same coin, woven into the fabric of spacetime itself. With the advent of Einstein's special relativity, electromagnetism took on a new form. The electric and magnetic fields were no longer separate but were part of the same electromagnetic field tensor in Minkowski space, F mu nu equals del mu a nu minus del nu a mu. This led to the realization that, a moving charge compresses its electric field in the direction of motion and magnetic fields appear as a relativistic effect of moving charges. This unification provided the basis for covariant Maxwell equations, which maintain the same form in all inertial reference frames. This slide provides a compelling visual and mathematical representation of how electromagnetic fields transform in spacetime under special relativity, encapsulating what can be described as a time-space dance in classical electrodynamics. It explores how a charge's electric field, initially radial in its stationary state, undergoes relativistic transformation when the charge moves, leading to the emergence of a magnetic field and a spatial compression effect. 
The left side of the slide presents a detailed depiction of the electric, E, and magnetic, B, fields associated with a moving charge. The first diagram illustrates the electric field of a stationary charge, where the field lines are symmetrically radial. In contrast, the second diagram shows the relativistic transformation that occurs when the charge is in motion. The field lines contract along the direction of motion due to Lorentz contraction, and a circular magnetic field emerges, indicating that a moving electric field generates magnetism. The accompanying mathematical expressions provide the transformation rules, highlighting how the electric and magnetic field components mix under relativistic motion. In the upper right section, the Minkowski space visualization serves as a reminder of the four-dimensional nature of spacetime in special relativity. This hypercube-like representation signifies how space and time are interconnected, fundamentally influencing how electromagnetic fields behave. The transformation of fields is governed by Lorentz transformations which dictate how observers in different frames perceive electric and magnetic fields differently. The lower right section focuses on the relativistic field of a moving charge. The illustration compares three key components, the electric field, E, shown in blue, the magnetic field, B, shown in red, and the pointing vector, S, shown in black, which represents the energy flux of the electromagnetic field. The text explains that while a stationary charge's field is purely radial, at even a modest velocity, the field compresses along the motion axis, and a magnetic component appears. This visualizes the fundamental principle that moving charges generate magnetic fields, a cornerstone of electromagnetism. Taken together, these elements provide a powerful illustration of how electromagnetism and relativity are intertwined. The transformation of fields due to motion, the role of Minkowski space in governing these changes, and the emergence of magnetism from moving charges all reflect the deep connection between electric and magnetic phenomena in the framework of special relativity. This slide effectively translates these abstract concepts into an intuitive, visually engaging format, making the intricate dance of space, time, and fields accessible and comprehensible. To truly understand electromagnetism at a deeper level, we need to look at it through the lens of gauge theory. In this perspective, the electromagnetic potential AMU isn't just a convenient mathematical tool, it's a fundamental object that acts as a connection in a special kind of geometric space called AU, one, principal fiber bundle. What does this mean? Well, in simple terms, electromagnetism has a built-in symmetry, and this symmetry is what allows us to describe the same physical situation in different but equivalent ways. A key concept here is the field tensor F mu nu, which is essentially the curvature of this gauge connection. This is what gives rise to the familiar electric and magnetic fields. One of the most powerful aspects of gauge theory is the idea of gauge transformations, changes in the potential that leave the physics unchanged. Specifically, we can transform the potential as a mu a mu plus del mu lambda, and everything still works the same way. This redundancy is not a flaw but rather a deep feature of nature that ensures local gauge invariance, a core principle in modern physics. There is an even richer way to see all of this, through a beautiful structure and topology called the Hopf vibration. This mathematical concept describes how one space can be fibered over another, and it turns out that electromagnetism fits naturally into this picture. The electromagnetic gauge potential, rather than being just an abstract quantity, can be seen as a hop connection, giving us a way to view electromagnetism as part of a deeper geometric structure. Now, when we bring special relativity into the picture, Maxwell's equations take on an elegant new form. Instead of dealing separately with electric and magnetic fields, we now describe everything using the field strength tensor F mu nu, which is anti-symmetric and neatly captures all electromagnetic interactions. The sources of the field, meaning electric charges and currents, are represented by the forecurrent J mu. In this relativistic framework, Maxwell's equations simplify into a compact expression, del nu f mu nu equals mu zero j mu. This equation generalizes the classical Maxwell equations into a form that works seamlessly in spacetime. But what if we go one step further? What if we consider curved spacetime as an Einstein's general relativity? In that case, electromagnetism naturally extends into a more advanced framework where we replace ordinary derivatives with covariant derivatives to account for the effects of gravity. So, why does all of this matter? Because it shows us that electromagnetism isn't just a force, it's a fundamental geometric phenomenon, woven into the very fabric of space and time. 
by seeing the electromagnetic gauge potential as a Hopf connection, we unlock a deeper unity between topology, gauge symmetry, and the structure of the universe itself. Let's take a step back and imagine the very foundation of the universe, not as a collection of isolated particles, but as a vast, interconnected field, stretching across space and time. This is the essence of quantum electrodynamics, or QED, the most precise theory of light and matter ever developed. At its core, QED reveals that the electromagnetic field is not just a passive backdrop, it's an active, fluctuating entity, giving birth to forces and particles alike. Everything we observe, from the light around us to the forces holding atoms together, emerges from this deeper quantum reality. But how do these fields actually shape the universe? It all starts with space-time, the very fabric in which everything unfolds. Think of it as a dynamic grid, constantly bending and warping under the influence of energy and mass. Then, beyond space-time, lie internal spaces, hidden mathematical dimensions that govern the behavior of particles and forces. These internal structures give rise to fundamental properties, like charge and spin, which dictate how particles interact. Now, here's where it gets truly fascinating. Gauge symmetry, one of the most powerful ideas in modern physics, explains why the laws of nature stay the same even when we change our mathematical perspective. In simple terms, it's the hidden order behind how forces work. Imagine rotating an object in space, it looks the same from every angle. That's global symmetry. But now, imagine twisting different parts independently, this is local symmetry, and it's far more powerful. It's what gives rise to the photon, the fundamental particle of light. For a long time, physicists thought of the vector potential as just a mathematical trick to simplify calculations. But then came a groundbreaking discovery, the Aharonov-Bohm effect. It showed that even in places where there's no electric or magnetic field, the vector potential still influences the behavior of electrons. This was a game-changer. It meant that electromagnetism wasn't just about forces. It was about the deep geometry of space itself. And then came the next leap forward, the realization that electromagnetism isn't just waves in a field. It's actually a dance of virtual photons, constantly being exchanged between charged particles. These virtual photons flicker in and out of existence, creating the force we call electromagnetism. So what does this all mean? It means that what we once thought of as empty space is actually alive with quantum fluctuations, shaping the very structure of reality. This concept doesn't stop with electromagnetism. The idea of gauge symmetry extends to all fundamental forces in the universe, the weak force, the strong force, everything in the standard model. In the end, what we call reality is just the surface of something far deeper, a world where fields, symmetries, and quantum interactions form the true building blocks of existence. And it all begins with the birth of quantum electrodynamics. All right. Now let's dive into one of the most fascinating dances in the quantum world, the interaction between electrons and photons in quantum electrodynamics, or QED. At its core, QED describes how light and matter interact at the most fundamental level. This incredible theory was developed and refined by brilliant minds like Richard Feynman, Julian Schwinger, and Sinidiro Tamanaga, as you can see in the images here. They revolutionized our understanding of how charged particles like electrons exchange photons, the force carriers of electromagnetism, to create the world we observe. Look at this colorful diagram in the center, it represents quantum fields in action. Each layer represents different quantum fields, such as the electron field and the up-quark field. The sharp spikes? Those are particles emerging from the quantum vacuum constantly interacting in a dynamic exchange of energy and momentum. Now, let's turn to the top right image. This highlights how QED describes forces and matter fields. The electrons exist as localized disturbances in the quantum field, while photons mediate the interactions between them. You can see how force fields, represented by those lines, extend outward, showing the invisible yet powerful influence of electromagnetic forces. And now, take a look at the bottom right corner, this is a simulation showing the fascinating process of electron-photon interaction in action. The video begins with an electron moving through the quantum field. As it interacts, a photon is created, transferring energy and causing the electron to become excited. This is a perfect example of how energy moves in the quantum world, following the precise mathematical rules of QED. This dance of electrons and photons is more than just theory. It's the foundation of how light, electricity, and magnetism function at their most fundamental level.
From the smallest atoms to advanced technologies like lasers and quantum computing, QED is everywhere. Pretty mind-blowing, right? All right, let's keep going. Next, we'll explore how these quantum interactions shape the very fabric of reality itself. As we wrap up our journey into the fascinating world of quantum electrodynamics, let's take one last look at what makes this theory so extraordinary. Right at the center, we see a key feature of QED, the famous Feynman diagrams. These graphical representations, developed by the legendary Richard Feynman, show how electrons and photons interact over time. In the top left, we see an electron emitting and absorbing a virtual photon, a fundamental process in electromagnetic interactions. Below it, we see an electron-positron interaction, where matter and antimatter collide, exchanging photons in a beautiful quantum dance. Now, check out the bottom right diagram. This is another Feynman diagram, showing two electrons interacting by exchanging a photon. This is how electromagnetic forces work at the quantum level. Even though we don't see it with our eyes, this constant exchange of virtual photons is what makes everyday electricity, magnetism, and even light itself possible. And finally, in the top right, we have a striking visualization of two charged particles exchanging energy through photon interaction, an artistic way to show the invisible but powerful effects of quantum mechanics in action. So, what have we learned? QED is the most precise and successful theory in physics, explaining how electrons, photons, and even antimatter interact in ways that shape our universe. From the smallest particles to the largest cosmic structures, this quantum dance is always happening, whether we realize it or not. We've explored the journey from Maxwell's equations to quantum electrodynamics, uncovering the deep quantum nature of electromagnetism. But what if these principles extend into the brain? Neurons emit biophotons, weak light signals that may interact with the brain's electromagnetic field. Could QED help explain the quantum coherence of neural activity and its link to consciousness? This is the next frontier, where physics, biology, and mind converge. By exploring biophotons and quantum effects in the brain, we may unlock new insights into the nature of awareness itself. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of quantum neuroelectrodynamics. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of the universe. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep marveling at the incredible world of electromagnetic brain.